Among the different branches of knowledge which have been pursued in India for several thousands of years, astronomy is considered to be foremost and this has been so because various practices in the society be it spiritual, be it religious, so be it certain other transactions which are happening on day to day basis. So, everything is clinched to a certain time at which it has to be executed. In order to keep track of time, so we essentially have two bodies. So, these bodies are the sun and the moon. They are essentially our time keeping systems. It is based on their motion around the earth that we are able to keep track of time. Today we know that it is the earth which is spinning in about 24 hours, strictly speaking slightly less than that about 4 minutes. So, that actually helps you in keeping track of a very short duration of time known as day. Then we have much larger periods, so a week and then we have a month and so on and so forth. But the way people have been keeping track of time varies from civilization to civilization, though day is a unit which is common across all civilizations because it has to do with sunrise and sunset. But besides that when you think of larger periods of time, so it is only the Indian civilization which has thought of very large periods which are known as yuga, kalpa and so on and so forth. This yuga is a very large period, so whose unit has been prescribed as 43 lakh 20 thousand years. People ask me this question as to why did they choose this long period of time. This has to do with the motions of a few objects which we are able to trace in the background of the stars besides the sun and the moon. If you try to see the period of any of these objects, they will not be in integral units of the day which you are able to count. So, if you have a fraction, this moon leaves a certain fraction, then Mars leaves a certain fraction, Mercury leaves a certain fraction and these fractions in order to integrate themselves to an integral unit, you need a very large period of time and that is how with this yuga seems to have been arrived at. So, in this large period, you will see that all these planets, by planets we mean sun, moon and then the phi starting from Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Besides that, we will not be able to see through our naked eye. These objects make close to integral number of revolutions in this large period and that is how these astronomers seem to have arrived at this very large period. But this cannot be arrived unless one makes observation for thousands and thousands of years. This is a large period and from that large period you come down to shorter periods and uh, we have a certain calendrical system which is known as Panchanga. This Panchanga is something which is very unique to Indian tradition. When you say Panchanga, obviously there are two terms involved Pancha and Anga. Pancha refers to phi and Anga refers to parts. So, what are the five parts which are listed there? Tithi, Vara, Nakshatra, Yoga and Karana. This Tithi is again something which is a very interesting phenomena which forms a very crucial part in our day to day life, particularly this Indian tradition. Most of the rituals that we perform, festivals that we celebrate so are all based upon calculation of tithi. What is a tithi? 